Right, this evening I've got two um, new tools to show you which I got from Banggood and um, I want to show you why I got these tools and um, do a bit of a review on them. So both these tools are, are like super heavy duty um, tools which in the past I've used on CNC machine tools. And the first one is this um, 16mm shank um, turning tool. Um, got a real heavy duty carbide insert in that one with six um, sides or edges. Um, so it's a very economical tool to use. And this one can be used on cast iron, uh, stainless steel and um, it's very good with this um, super thick uh, carbide insert for intermittent work. Now you can get these um, tools for a very reasonable price on Banggood. Um, they come with the storage box, these nice um, plastic storage boxes, 10 inserts and two Allen keys. Um, that's if you buy the tool singularly like this one or you can buy them um, one left hand and one right hand facing one um, together. Now the larger Allen key is for the um, clamp on the top and it's a very heavy duty solid positive clamp. Everything about this tool is heavy duty and um, obviously undo that one and change the edges around. And with this size of Allen key um, you can obviously do it up nice and tight which it needs to be. So the smaller Allen key is for the underside um, centre pin or spindle to take that one out and to take this um, carbide pad or shim out. Um, in the event or the unfortunate event of a crash or a tool breakage um, that pad would actually um, sometimes shatter along with the actual carbide insert and that actually saves um, damaging this um, shank. The pad is obviously to give it added strength um, but I've seen these um, on CNC machines break and um, like I say very often it'll actually take the edge of the actual pad off and you need to change that one round or replace the pad altogether. So to do that you would take the insert out, take the clamp right off the top and then use the smaller allen key in the underside clockwise to wind that um, centre pin out and the carbide pad or shim comes out with that. Um, you've only got the three edges on this one um, because it can only go up one way. So make sure it's um, nice and clean to put that one back on. And the locking spindle goes down in that one and then it's um, anti-clockwise to tighten that one in and that locks the pad solid onto the shank the insert goes over the spindle there and then the um, clamp it has a bit of a gap here at the back and a little lip at the front which goes over the back edge of the actual insert and put the locking screw in and do that one up nice and tight. And like I say, I've seen these used on CNC machine tools. I've actually used them myself and they can take um, very deep cuts and uh, very fast cuts as well um, without any breakage and like I say if in the event of a breakage you can actually um, buy the shims um, they're numbered up on the actual um, tool information on Banggood's site so you can actually get all those parts 
So I've bought this tool for use on my Chinese mini lathe and my Myford ML7 and like I said 16 millimeter square shank um, I obviously wouldn't be able to put that in my um, quick change tool post and if I was able to I wouldn't be able to achieve center height on the Myford ML7 so I'm going to modify this tool by milling um, probably about five or six mil off the underside of the shank and when I first got my Myford ML7, I was actually quite surprised at um, how small a shank you have to have on the turning side um, to be able to achieve centre height. I've been using 10mm um, square shank tools. And um, this is a great method if you want to use larger shank, shank tools to get centre height, is to actually mill the underside of the tool off. And I'm going to be doing that in a moment with using this um, lovely tool here from Banggood. Um, very good price for something heavy duty like this. It's a three flute uh, milling tool, 150 millimeters long and 25 millimeters in diameter. It has three carbide inserts um, and um, you get the tool without the inserts and have to buy the um, insert separately um, but all together it's a very good price and a super tool to have so when you buy it it's nicely oiled up and put in this um, plastic bag again in one of these nice heavy duty plastic boxes and you get the actual star key for taking the um, inserts out um, like I said, it doesn't come with the inserts, you have to buy those separately, but it does come with the actual um, screws. Um, when you're using a tool like this, make sure you put um, a cloth over the machine when you take these uh, screws out, or take this tool out and do it over a nice surface like this, because those screws are very tiny and easy to lose. But having said that, if you do lose uh, one of these screws, um, there are places on the internet where you can actually buy them again. And on the specification it says it's stainless steel, high impact resistant and very strong. So on my MyFed ML7 I'm going to be using my collet chuck um, to hold this one. Um, when it goes into the collet chuck it only goes back that far. So I'm going to actually um, take off about 25 millimeter from the back end of the tool. So I've parted this piece off the back. Um, I can obviously use that for something else. Nice bit of stainless steel. And I've set the um, milling slide up on the MyFed nice and square. The tool goes further back in the um, collet chuck and locked up and it's ready to go and I'm using my um, carriage stop. And I've got the lathe on about 300 RPM. So you can see the milling cutters coping very well with that um, quite hard steel um, and I'm just going to carry on now and take the rest of that off. Right so the tools finished off now and set up in my quick change tool post. I said earlier that um, I had 10 millimeter shank turning tools on my Myford ML7 but I do in fact have 8 um, millimeter square shanks. So I've actually milled this one to 8mm the same. 
and the uh, milling cutter was excellent um, on the lathe um, but the inserts didn't last too long on the tool steel um, that's my fault because the actual inserts I got here are just the ordinary uncoated ones um, I see on Banggood's site you can get uh, what they call blue nano coating inserts um, which are hard, very hard and can last up to five times longer than ordinary inserts um, plus they can actually um, they've got a hardness up to HRC52 and they can be used on stainless steel, cast iron, die steel, 45 steel, A3 steel and titanium alloy um, so they're very hard inserts and I hope to get um, a set of these to try in the future and that's another thing I do um, for the workshop. Uh, whenever I get tools from Banggood or buy them online, I always do a printout of the buying page with all the details of the tool and the inserts. Um, and then it makes it much easier when you actually come to buy new inserts, you know where all the information is. So now I come to the testing of my modified tool on the Mifin ML7. And I've got a piece of um, steel in the chuck there, um, a very uneven face there, and I want to just test this one facing that one off. And I easily achieved centre height um, with the 8mm shank. You could actually get away with milling it to 10mm um, because I can see that movement on the actual uh, quick change tool post for allowing it to go down. Um, I didn't do mine to 10mm because I had the one chance of getting it all right um, and didn't want to set it all up again so that's why mine's 8mm otherwise I would have probably done it to 10 So this one's a great tool to have uh, for all the heavy duty work on the Myford or the Chinese mini lathe or whatever lathe you've got. And this is a great method um, for the Myford ML7 to achieve centre height on tools and opens you up to uh, buying all different types of tools that you would, wouldn't normally be able to use on the Myford ML7 like this one and you can actually choose whatever shank tool you like just mill them down you have the center height plus you have the width which retains the rigidity of the tool and its strength 